Hi everyone. So I'm thinking for all these ideas about the homes. That can be made out of steel, out of metal. I'm thinking some believers out there that would like to start a domino effect with this concept in mind, with just the homes. You guys can sell your home. Use the money to buy a piece of property. Put your home there. And if you have extra, most likely you will. Go in and building another one exactly the same. And finding another believer who would be willing to sell their home to move into the second one that you guys built so they can go and build another one and then you guys can go and find someone else that will believe in that and basically that's how you guys will be able to bless people with homes It's either that or like these bigger organizations get together or they just start building them this way from now on out. You know, from now on type of thing. That way everyone could eventually have a, a home for, of, you know, for themselves or of themselves. Yeah, house of themselves. So, I would have a house of myself. Everyone in the world would have a house of themselves. You know? And everyone would just be so happy. We'll be, we will all be happy, happy campers. No one will even want to go camping. Everyone just wants their own home. So. I believe by doing that. Many people would. Love the idea. Would. Be willing to sell their homes. And be willing to bless people. That need a home. And, you know, just like the Bible, when the Holy Spirit told or convicted the two people of sin, and somehow one of the leaders knew that they had lied about how much they sold the property for, and they died instantly. Right, right there in the spot. First the husband, then the wife. Soon after the wife. So, I mean, I'm not saying to go and sell everything and get left with nothing. What I'm saying is you can sell your home, go build one of these solid, strong homes, and even if it is made out of concrete, like I was explaining, but it does have to be. It could be like a powerful, you know, solid foundation with the trailer things that I was talking about. The, um, 
like the metal sheds, the galvanized sheds, and they could be bolted into the foundation or something like that. That way it won't move around and it will be on a firm, strong foundation. Like the Bible says, the wise built his house. On a rock. And not on the sand. So the foundation. And then. The. You know the. Rectangle square circle. <clears throat> But anything that really connects. So like. Squares. You know and. <coughs> you know like holes can be made. From one trailer to another. To create a door. An entryway. So people can go. In and out freely. Because what's at home? It's just a building that's squared with a bunch of little squares inside of it. And it has a roof shape on top. Everyone, I swear, I think everyone wants, in this world, a lot of people want classy things. They want um, to appear like they have a lot, you know? They want something nice, something, not nice, but they want, they want to, like, show off. Because you could... Anyone could live in a in a freaking trailer, in a like a, a metal home that won't burn down, because these wooden homes do burn down. So it would be these metal crates in order for the home to last longer. So they won't burn down. If there's a fire or whatever. They won't burn down. And they'll be easy. To manufacture. And deliver. And. The whole nine yards. And obviously these people. Will be thinking. About. Homes. Not like a trailer. To move. Or to ship products in. You know, and the cabinets, you know, for the kitchen, they could just be like shelves, you know, straight up. Because so many people are, are out there spending money on all kinds of remodeling, all kinds of things that. You know, like if a fire, if if a home catches on fire, there goes all your money. There goes everything. You lose your job, there goes everything. You know, this is a more secured investment. It's like putting your money in the bank. But something happens, you have to remove that money out of the bank and use it. If your house burns down, guess what? You have to use your money to repair your home. So you have to remove your money from the bank and use that money. So by creating or building these homes out of galvanized metal or whatever, because I've seen some, some Google results, and that's what 
I noticed in there, like in the search engine. So, yeah, I encourage everyone to do that. If you're a family out there that has money, I can, I will, I would encourage you guys to do that. To look out for your future generations to come. Because, you know, most likely it will be, it will be a family decision for people out there. And <clears throat> later on in the future, <clears throat> if someone gets old, <clears throat> if someone gets old, then they're not going to be able to go up there and repair the that roof. They're not going to be able to do any of the maintenance that goes into maintaining a home. So by building it strong and durable from the very gate, from the very beginning, from Genesis, then you won't have to worry about later on because you started off right. You did it right from the beginning. And really, it doesn't take much. You know, and if people are really picky about what it looks like on the outside, then extra measures can be taken for all that. But it's not even necessary, really. And this way, if there is a fire, your home won't be in danger of that fire. And if, if it does burn down, you can easily buy some new pods, install those, remove the old ones, and connect the power electricity right back up and you're good to go. But, you know, and, and I'm talking in, in, in a matter of a month, you can have all that removed, the older stuff removed, the foundation will still be there, just, you know, putting the paws down, and you can move back in, but at home... Like these, it takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of manpower. It takes a lot to build something like this. A lot of work goes into building a home. And they cost a lot of money. I mean, for the majority of the people... They cost a lot of money. And people might think it's funny. But are the people that la that are laughing. Do they have their house paid off? Or are they just renting? Or do they own an apartment? Or do are they debt free? Are they Did they pay off their house already? Is their house completely paid off? And if so. They're just making fun of people that. I mean, if, if they don't have it paid off, they're just making fun of people that don't have a house. And they're probably envious of people that don't have a house. Or they think all this is a joke. They think people that don't have a house is a joke. And it's not a joke. I believe everyone in the world should be having a house. Like nothing. And a safe one. Not like this, like, this home could collapse on me. It's made out of wood. It could burn down to the ground. It, I'm Like, if there's a fire outside, and it was coming closer and closer to the home, and I had nowhere to go, 
I wouldn't even be I wouldn't even feel safe inside of the home. So we do need to think along that those lines, you know, and many people have died in a home with you know caused by that resulted or whatever by a fire, people died from fires. You know, homes burning, whatever. So, I'm just trying to look out. And I guess no one's really going to look out for me. But people are going to look out for themselves and their families, right? So, if you're a family out there, you have money. I think you guys should highly consider what I'm talking about and go buy yourselves some strong, you know, pods, insulation and all that can be added to it. I created a video, a post talking about this. And I'm not joking around. No one's joking around. I mean, think about it. What type of home would you rather have? And you guys can be, you guys can create these all day long and rent them out. If you, even if you guys wanted to do that, you guys can rent them out. And you won't even have to worry about what other people have to worry about. When they own a home or when they rent a home out. So I encourage everyone out there to consider all this. You know, because I think it has a lot of pros to it, you know, pros and cons, I think it has a lot of good with everything that I'm talking about. I think it has a lot of good points, you know, as opposed to bad points. It has a lot of good points. And if you weigh the scales, it's like, yeah, like, why not build homes this way? Because, like I said, you know, there's a lot of people out there living on the streets. They're like, oh my god, I don't even want to start naming stuff, but people are living in these homes that are like the insulation. They're outdated, really. And not really outdated, like in a bad way, they're outdated like. It's falling apart, outdated. Like it's it's decaying. The roof is leaking. The sheetrock is falling apart. All the negative you can think of. And all the disease and all that. Not everyone has money to maintain a home like everyone in the world. So, if we create these homes, then that house, that home will last for a very, very long time without the need for repairs, the, without the need for, without any worries, you know, that type of concept. So I think it's a good idea, personally. And that is the reason why I'm taking time out of my life to discuss all this. 
Because personally, I don't have any money. But if I was a rich man, I wouldn't build a wooden home. Thank God he made me wise. Because a rich man knows how to think ahead as well. A rich man is wise. And although some people might say, well, I could just build another one if it burns down. But that's not the point. The point is having something there that can be used for generations to come. As opposed to a home. A home can be there and it could stand for many generations to come. But it would require a lot of fixing over time. I mean a roof, I think a roof has to be changed every 15 to 20 years. You know how much money that is? Now calculate that by every single home out there in the world. Calculate that by a thousand homes. Calculate that by by 10,000 homes or whatever number you can think of. These other homes made out of iron, galvanized metal or whatever. It won't even require that. It won't require all that maintenance. So you guys can bless people. And that home will stay there practically forever. And as long as it's built on a good foundation. So the water won't. You know, stay stagnated and mess up the the bottom. As long as that water rolls down, there won't be any issues. There won't be any problems with that. It will last basically forever. So, <clears throat> that is my point. <clears throat> and that would be my sales point. But for each person out there, because I'm obviously not selling this. I don't have the money to get this started. But if you guys can make something like that, like I seen one. It was a 20 by 25 by 20 big old farm shed for 7,000. I mean... You look at a three by three bedroom, two bath home. It runs for like a hundred thousand, right? And you're you're talking about three bedroom, two bath at that size for only seven thousand each. So, and it's going to last for a long time. And it doesn't even have to be that big. No maintenance. The insulation has to be considered, of, of course. But, um, I mean, if these pods are created, they could be created with something for the insulation to be inserted. And sealed or something. You know like. We're smart people. We're not stupid people. And we have the internet. So we can come up with. Creative ideas for all that. You know. 
where we are like people living in the jungle. Just think about it. Even people in the city, we're surrounded by jungles. We're still stuck in this world. And the elements and all that, they're harsh. You know, any metal, like metal tractors that we use or whatever, they slowly get rusted and rot away, right? I mean, a house, it breaks down. So I'm just trying to, you know, paint that picture in people's minds so they could understand. Because maybe I'm not, you know, I'm not explaining it correctly. Maybe. And if God is speaking to you, it's better not to even tell anyone. If God is speaking to you, just do it on the low key. You know, don't tell no one. People get jealous. People, people don't know what they want. People are fucking retarded. Think about it. Like, if I, I mean, people are dropping like $20,000 on remodeling a fucking kitchen. Dropping, you know, that amount just, <coughs> just for some stupid shit. People don't know what the fuck they want. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're stupider than shit. And I don't blame anyone. I mean, if I had money, I'm just going to buy it. If, if I had money and I started off like most of you guys out there, I would just buy a home, a good home that I could raise my family in and all that, right? That's what a lot of you guys did. But these other these other facts are like they're more safeguarded. They're more um they're wiser, you know, to go that route because we're talking about your hard-earned mo money and when we pass away, when you pass away, when your family or whatever pass away, you know that you left something solid, something good. That's something that's going to break fucking down. So... Food for thoughts. And like I said, 